Hey y'all, it's Mackenzie. So today I'm doing a demo review and wear test on the Maybelline 24 Hour Superstay um, Full Coverage Foundation. I'm really excited. I just picked this up today for this video because I'm hearing a lot of mixed reviews and I really, really want to try it out, but on camera. I'm a little scared because I found out after I bought this that it oxidizes really badly and I have like a pretty spot on shade so I'm pretty nervous but we're just gonna do it anyways you know live life don't worry <laughs> before I actually you know dig into this foundation I wanted to read some reviews on Ulta Beauty and just kind of describe to you what the foundation is supposed to do okay so okay so on Ulta Beauty it retails for $11.99 they have 24 shades the um, lightest shade they have is called Fair Porcelain 102. And then the darkest shade is Espresso 380. And because I have a super olive skin tone, I have a lot of trouble finding drugstore foundations that will match me. Just because every time I find a new foundation from the drugstore, they always make me look orange and like peachy. So that's something that I wish they would work on. But on here, it says that it's oil free, it doesn't clog pores, dermatologist tested, full coverage foundation with a seamless finish, it says it evens out, camouflages, and enhances. It also says it minimizes the appearance of flaws, pores, and imperfections, and it also glides on the skin for a smooth and breathable wear. Um, so it says, be your own professional makeup artist with Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. Saturated color pigments provide an ultra transforming effect in this high impact coverage formula. So that glides under the skin for a flawless finish that lasts all day. Must be 24 hour wear, um, full coverage, and matte. So I'm actually usually use medium coverage dewy foundations. So I, I never use like a full coverage um, matte foundation that claims to stay on for 24 hours. So. I'm excited to try this out for y'all, and yeah, let's get started. One thing I really love about this foundation is definitely the packaging. I feel like it has a nice glass bottle. Um, it's a pretty big foundation, like it comes with a lot of product. I feel like I would never run out of this shade. Um, it has a pump, which is really nice, which I really do enjoy pumps on here. On any foundations, I enjoy pumps. I looked up the foundation and read the um, description about it. I went down to look at reviews, and there's a lot of negative reviews, I'm not going to lie. There's only two comments that I saw that were positive. Most of them said that it set on the skin weirdly, and that it oxidized, and yeah. And I also know that it depends on different people's skin types, skin tones, you know, all that jazz. So, let's get started. Before I try the foundation out, I want to use some primers that I really do love, just so I can kind of try, um... You know, my favorite products with it. You know, I give it a fair shot. So right now, I'm putting NYX Hydra Touch Hydrating Primer on my dry spots on my face. I'm going to go in with the um, Ulta Beauty Poreless Face Primer. I just recently got this, and I've been really liking it. I like how nice it feels on my skin. I can't really tell if I think my pores look smaller, if I think it's like keeping me from not getting oily um so I can't tell really but maybe one day I'll be able to tell I guess like the way it feels on the skin so I just put this on my t-zone my last primer I know I layer so many primers I just love hydration the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer I usually just put this like right here on my cheeks just to smooth it out I'm actually going to be using my um, L'Oreal sponge on one side of my face and my Sigma F80 on my other just because I like to see the difference versus how much coverage I, I can get with a sponge or how much coverage I can get with a brush. I really like using the brush when I want a more full coverage look with any foundation. This sponge does like pick up a lot of product but it also just makes it more smoother when it goes on if that makes any sense. So. Depending on what mood I'm in, but lately I have really been loving using my L'Oreal sponge, aka Beauty Blender in my opinion. <laughs> so here I am digging into the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. 
I actually got the shade 128 Warm Nude. I'm not sure how it will look. We're just kind of going for it. And I'm going to be using my beauty sponge on this side of my face. And the brush on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and do the, um, um, beauty blender. I mean, L'Oreal sponge side. Okay, I'm kind of random. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the sponge side right here first. I can already tell the consistency is very thick. So, I feel like a little will go a long way. And I feel like this shade is like good with my neck. You can see how my face is pale but my body is tan. That's how we do it. And then I'm just going to start applying. Oh yeah, it dries pretty quickly, so y'all might want to dig in fast with this baby. It's definitely already looking matte, which is really nice, because I feel like some foundations take forever to dry, you know, and this one is not, which is really good. Okay, so now I'm going in with my Sigma F80, got the product on there. Can't forget our neck. I don't know why, but I feel like it has more coverage with the sponge than with the brush. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> so I actually really want to know if it oxidizes. So I'm gonna wait a couple minutes before I do the rest of my face, but right now I just really want to see if it oxidizes, and then I will come back and let you guys know if it doesn't or if it does. Okay. So, can I just say that I think I picked a perfect color for my skin tone. I mean, it matches completely my neck. It looks just like my skin color. It's incredible. I've never had a foundation that matched my skin tone like this um, color. Um, also, I really quickly want to add that it has not oxidized yet. And I've had it on for about 15 minutes. Maybe 20. It hasn't oxidized yet. I feel like if it would have oxidized, it would have happened already. But it's very matte, um, very full coverage, very flawless. I mean, I freaking love it. I think it's so beautiful. It's such a beautiful foundation. I'm actually going to let it sit for five more minutes. Then I'm going to go ahead and get into my concealer and, you know, all the fun stuff. So, yeah. Five minutes have flown by and it looks the same. Like, it still hasn't oxidized, so... I'm pretty proud so I'm going to go ahead and put on my concealer and powder and bronzer and blush and highlighter. Maybe my brows and eye makeup. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to come back until after that, but let's get started. I mean, what was this? <laughs> I'll be back in a second, y'all. Okay, so I finished up my face. I actually decided to not do eye makeup today or brows and just let my... Have like a fresh face kind of look. I mean, my blush kind of ruined it, but the fresh face look, but it's really pretty. If y'all want to know what I use, I'll go ahead and tell you. My Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and Brightener under my eyes to conceal. Then I set it with my ELF HD powder. This is in the shade Corrective Yellow. I just got this. Y'all have a haul coming for this soon. I actually have like a huge collective haul coming, but I have it in Corrective Yellow, and I love the way it brightens my under eye. So beautiful. And then I used my new, no that's the wrong one, e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette that I got a couple days ago and holy cannoli. I used this shade right here. It's like perfect for like a neutral color. Those deeper ones would be really nice for like a very sculpted contour. But so far, these two e.l.f. products have been great. Um, and then I just always go on top of my cream contour y'all know that but today I actually use this new thing that I haven't got to try very much and it's like this Ulta Beauty little um trio not trio whatever it's like this little Ulta Beauty thing and it has the bronzer and a highlighter in it and I'm wearing the highlighter and I'm wearing the bronzer and the bronzer is like a really nice like kind of reminds me of Hoola but it has like, some red tones in with it and the highlighter is like very very shimmery like let me see if I can swatch it for you 
super pretty. And this is the bronzer. The bronzer is like very like almost the same color as my skin tone. So you may not be able to see. You can see the highlighter, but the bronzer is kind of invisible. But you see when I'm just chilling at home, I like like a nice wash of a contour. Okay, what else did I use? Oh, and then I used this amazing, amazing, beautiful blush. How beautiful is my blush? It's this new Tarte blush that I got, and it's called Fasty, and it's so pretty. Like, look at this color. Such a pretty color. Let me see if I can get it to do justice. It's like a nice, I don't know, like warm, mauve pinky color. It reminds me of a lot of... I don't know, it's just really pretty. So, and let me just say that I can feel like I'm wearing makeup now because I have all these other products on. But before then, I felt like I was just chilling at home, bare face. Like, I can't, like, it's hard to explain. This foundation is so comfortable. Like, it feels like I'm wearing nothing. That's what I love. I know trying it out one time is not going to do justice for me. Just because, you know, the first time I ever tried out the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, I thought it looked beautiful, flawless, and... Um, matte and full coverage, but <sighs> then eventually, you know, oxidized real bad on me. But I'm still gonna try this out, and I will let y'all know. I may actually try. Well, no, never mind. I won't be able to stay up for 24 hours and see if it works. But when I this fall and winter, when I go hunting, I think I wear this foundation just because I usually stay up a, for a very long time when I go hunting. So, yes, I hunt. It's probably a major shock to some of y'all, but yes, I do hunt. And I really like it. So, I'll let y'all know if anything changes, and I'll come back here in a little bit for another wear test review. Okay, it is now 10.08, and I put on a lip color. really like it. I don't ever wear colors like this, but I really like the color it gives me. And I wanted to show y'all what the foundation is looking like. It's still very matte, very flawless, very beautiful. Really liking it. And yeah. I also really love this lip color with it. I feel like it looks more like Marilyn Monroe-ish. So, yeah. Okay, so it is now 11.43 p.m. And this is what I look like. Um, I feel like it still looks pretty good. I definitely, like I said, I have a very oily nose. So I definitely, my T-zone is definitely oily. Um, I think I've had it on for about six hours. And it still looks really good. And keep in mind, I haven't blotted it or nothing. So, yeah, my cheeks are look really good. It doesn't look quite as good as it did when I first put it on. And that's just because, you know, my skin, because texture, I have texture when I get oily a little bit. And my nose is always oily, but I definitely don't blend that on the foundation. This is just normal things that happen to me. So far, this is the most long wearing foundation that has worked on me that I've tried. So, I'm actually about to blot just to see if it will help a little bit. And the blotting paper I use, I actually keep in my purse. And it's the Swiss Brews blotting paper. And comes with 100 sheets for like a dollar. It's oil absor absorbing sheets and it removes shine, not makeup. So, I'm about to try to blot my nose and my T zone and anywhere else I'm kind of oily. And then I will get back to y'all. It may be after, right after I get through with doing this, or it may be later, so I'll check back in with y'all. Okay, so I just used one sheet, and oh my gosh, y'all saw how oily my nose and like my, this area was. Not very much my chin, but mainly like my nose. And usually when I blot, I have to use like two or three little papers, but I only had to use one for my whole entire T-zone. That's crazy, oh my gosh. Like it soaked up. It didn't even have to like use the whole thing. So I really like these papers with this foundation. I think it's gonna be a goodie. 
Plus, I'm going to show you, like, it did not re remove none of my makeup. A lot of times when I blot my T-zone, the makeup will transfer onto my blotting paper. And it did not happen this time. Like, my T-zone was just the way it was when I first applied it now. Oh my gosh. I love that. And I really love how my blush and highlighter and bronzer looks the same as when I put it on. Well, not completely the same. It's definitely more subtle now. But, like, it's still there. Like, my blush is, like, very there, if you can see that. So, I really like the way it stayed on there. So, I'm going to catch up with y'all a couple hours. It is now 11.50 p.m. And I'm going to try to get back with y'all at 2. But if I fall out and I fall asleep, I do. So, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, so it is 12.35 a.m. I actually was going to wait until 2 to try to do it, but I'm really tired, so I thought I'd show you my last little um, opinion review. I really like it. I think the coverage is insane for me, and I really like the, like the wear time. I really love the coverage and the wear time. And how when I blotted, all it did was take the oil off and the makeup is like still intact. And it was like not going off for a very long time. I really, really like it. Let's see how it looks up close. The highlighter and blush and bronzer are still popping. It looks absolutely incredible, y'all. I think this is a great foundation. <laughs> Obviously, I know you can't just have one review and expect everything to be okay. So I will chat out a whole bunch more and eventually you guys know what I think. But I will have a review um, no matter what coming soon. So if I hate it, I'll do a review. If I love it, I'll do a review. Okay, so I'm actually going to take a makeup wipe and take off one side of my face. And let y'all see the other side and see if you can um, tell the difference. And also... It may not look that good on, like, it may look flat on camera, like, not that good, but in person, it looks incredible. Okay, so, I'm going to go get my makeup wipe. Okay, so I got my makeup wipe, and I'm going to start taking it off. I didn't wear eye makeup today, so I don't have any eye makeup to get off. See how much product was on there? That's how you know a foundation is like really good. When nothing, when a lot of it comes off, because it means they're on the product. It's like wasted. It like melted away in the oil. Okay, I'm going to finish taking the rest of this foundation off on this side, and I'll be right back. OMG, I don't know if you can tell, but there's definitely a difference. This is this side of my face. The makeup's gone. This side of my face is still on. Y'all see how good the coverage is? Oh my gosh, and my face feels amazing and so matte. I hope y'all enjoyed my demo review and wear test on the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. I had so much fun filming it, and yeah, I can wait for y'all to see it and let me know what you think. If y'all like for me to try out more drugstore foundations or high-end foundations and new reviews and wear tests about it, just let me know and I will totally do that. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night and God bless. Bye, y'all.